Section One Football Media Day 2024, presented by Game Day One, Veolia, and White Plains Hospital. Section One Football Media Day here at Mary Pack High School 2024. Kevin Davidi Jr. joined by Dan Waller and the Suffering Mounties. Coach, you know, I joked with you before about how you came here last year. You didn't really talk the team up too much. You felt uh, good confidence. You go out, you make it to the semifinals, lose to Carmel. So looking back from this year to now, I mean, did the team exceed expectations or are you just kind of playing things coy? Um, I think we definitely exceeded expectations, you know, um, throughout the year we kind of just continue to get better at, you know, our fundamentals and really, you know, execute the game plans that we kind of put in. Where did this team surprise you? Where, where, do they, where do they get better quicker than maybe you expected? Where do they kind of outperform than maybe the expectations that you had? Any more specific offense, defense, anything? Um, honestly, I, th I think it was our defense. You know, we really kind of came out and had a lot of three and outs and caused a lot of turnovers. This team now coming back, what's the, what's the, what's the makeup of the team coming back from offense, defensive starters that way? Um, so we have about like six offensive starters and four defensive starters returning. Um, we have a bunch of leadership right here. Um, you know, Mason, this is his third year on varsity. Jeff, three years, Finn, three years, and Shane, three years. So, interest me to the guys right here. Too. Yep. So, this is Mason Palumbo, this is quarterback. Um, Finnegan Mitchell, he's a receiver and defensive back. Jeff Joseph, he's a running back and defensive back. Shane Stolkup, um, offensive lineman and D lineman, and Adrian Renkovic, offensive lineman, D lineman. Let's hand it out to Mason. So Mason, last year, under the radar team, you go out there, win a playoff game, make it to the semis. Now you now you got a target on your back. It, 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 uh, most teams want to be the underdog, but do you guys kind of enjoy being a team that's like in the conversation to compete for a championship? Um, you, there's always hype around it, but we're not going to get too high of ourselves. We're always going to stick to our fundamentals and come back down to earth. Um, we're always ready to just take one game on at a time and never just look ahead of schedule, just f focus on who we have that week. What areas right now are you guys ahead of schedule? I, I think this, the, the backs are pretty good, right? I mean, you got to have good, uh, good backs and receivers on this team? Yeah, we have a lot of returners. I think um, we're going to be prepared to come out this week's zero game and take on Minnesink. Um It's going to be a tough game, but I think if we just stay to what we do every day at practice, we'll, we'll be good. And how is it different now coming as a veteran quarterback compared to a, a, a new coming quarterback? As, uh, did you start two years ago or was last year your first year as a starter? Uh, I started two years ago. So you started, yeah. so now it's your third season as a starter. Mm -hmm. How much of an advantage is that as a quarterback to kind of come in with that sort of ex uh, experience? Um, it's just a little easier because now I know how to read defenses better. Um, there's always going to be, be uh, new things I can learn to help improve my game, and I think Coach Miller's going to help me get there. Um, but I think it's going to be a little – I'm going to be more calm and patient in the pocket. I'm not going to be more – hyperventilating or just trying to overdo something, I'm going to do my job because I know everyone else is going to do theirs. Let's hand down to Finn. Finn, let's talk about your quarterback and just how he's grown over the last uh, now two seasons and, and won two days of training camp. How, how much is the, has the quarterback uh, kind of grown into his role? I think he's grown as a, a great player, really. Um, he really helps us move the ball down the field when we can't do it on the run, and it just he's just great, man. How, how is it, from your perspective, from, you, from your, you personally, how much did you grow as a player as last year went on? Because obviously, I know by the end of the year, you're one of the, uh, one of the top 2A players in, in the county. Um, I think I grew as a player because um, of my coaching staff. They really helped me learn the defense and help my team make it to the semifinals. How good is that guy next to you? I remember last year, and the same thing in basketball, no one really knew who he was, and now here comes Jeff Joseph and Mr. Super I think, 11. I think he's all right. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he's not bad. Yeah. Definitely could get a little better. But. All right, let's let's hear what he has to say. <laughs> Jeff, I mean, obviously the 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 hype train is is kind of moving along for you. Obviously basketball and now into football. Just uh, what's this been like for you uh, these last 12 months between the, the last two seasons that you played? Yeah, honestly, it's been great. You know, just focusing on what I got to do. You know, stay in the weight room, stay in the on that field or on the court. You know, I try and balance as as best as possible, but put myself in the best position as possible to just go out there and and do what I need to do. How different do you think defenses are going to be gearing up to stop you now compared to uh, to compared to last year? Oh yeah, I mean, last year, you know, they were sleeping on me, so it was kind of a wake up call when they they would see me run the ball. But this year, I know teams are going to be prepared, but we're prepared too. You know, we got ways to diversify our, our offense. You know, if they're keying in on on me, we got other other uh, weapons out there. So, you know. Yes, down. 
Must be nice to block for a guy like that, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. <laughs> when you know he's getting the ball, you know, it's just to hold like a second, right? Uh -huh, Two seconds. Yeah. Just tell him about the team. Let's just take the offensive line perspective, just about uh, how the team grew last year. And, and I think being able to, to handle things on the offensive defensive line is really what changed, I think, this team in the last year. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, last year, our offensive line, we were four, four seniors in the junior. Uh, we had some. Uh, injuries that we had to deal with. I ended up having to be a starting tackle, uh, which was unprepared. Uh, I was prepared for it, but yeah. Um, uh, yeah, but blocking for a guy like Jeff, um, who's a patient running back, and it's, it's much easier to block when you, when you have a guy like Jeff behind in the backfield. Have you seen the program and like, has numbers grown, has interest grown, has the program itself for uh, football grown last uh, year or two years? Yeah, I, I feel like um, since about like four years ago since um, Clev Lubin was on the team. Uh, he definitely put a name uh, for suffering football on the, on the, in, the, in the county or and in the section. Uh, so yeah, suffering football is, is, I think, is a known team in the, in the section and uh, a good contender for. Pass it up? Yeah. Minnesink Valley is week zero, right, right coach? Yeah. And then you go into this, uh, the gauntlet of Nourishell and then Carmel. So what, what are these three, first three weeks going to tell you about the, uh, the team going into the season? I think it's going to tell us like how good we are. It's going to give us a challenge, see, how, see where we are at, and yeah. How, how much pressure is there on this team to kind of take that next step? And, and, and compete for a championship and a realistic uh, in class double A, which I think is it's somewhat wide open. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure. I mean, our expectations are high after last year, so there's a lot of pressure, and we're looking forward to it. Excellent. Pass it on the coach. We'll wrap it up. You're now a veteran coach, Coach Muller. You're, you're, well, you're still one of the young guys. You're still young. But uh, tell me about uh, you know, what you've learned as a coach and, and, and sort of how, how different you feel going into this season than the last few. Yeah, so honestly, I think with a couple of these guys, I'm honestly, almost all of these these guys, um, you know, this is my third year as the head coach. This is like their third year on varsity. So it's kind of like, you know, I almost grew up with them and now I'm kind of learning the players that they are, you know, how they can execute what scheme and kind of change offense, defenses for these guys. Excellent, Coach. Good luck, Coach Miller. Appreciate it, guys. Good luck this season. Take that next step, all right, guys? Thank you very much. All right.